Okay, so we are doing Jasper Active, Lesson 8, Exercise 5, Importing Data from External Text Files. Here we go. We're going to start by going to the Data tab, and on the Data tab, we are going to select right here, Data tab from the Get and Transform Data group. We're going to say get data from text CSV. And it's probably one of these. Let's see. There it is right there. So yours hopefully aren't as collapsed as mine, but it's a little one right there that looks like so. And we're going to navigate to Jasper Active, resource folders, resource files, and there's the file called ecocruises.txt so it's actually a text file click import and it brings it in and gives you a preview window notice the tab delimiter appears up here um, it used to be this was a separate column so click the delimiter drop down and try changing it to a different delimiter like colon well there's no colons in there so it didn't do anything commas doesn't look good space that looks better but there's a whole bunch of strange empty columns here so that's not right so let's go back to tab and we can see each of the columns looks better so space tab next now we're going to click load and then the drop down button here and say load to and you want to load it to a table pivot table report pivot chart we'll learn about those probably in excel expert um, default selections are table let's do existing worksheet and then say okay And it loads it up and it looks like that, which looks about like it should from here. So next, we're gonna save it, go to file, save, and save a copy. We're gonna go to my projects folder. We're going to title this Nico Cruises. It's hyphen space student. Save it. And close the queries and connections and then control W to close it and submit it and get it. There we go. Let's look into this next one, see if we can do a twofer video importing data from external CSV files. Okay, so this will be similar. It says open the text file directly in Excel. So file, open, and then double click this PC. And we need to go to our resource folder. So let's see, Jasper Active, resource files, and it's not finding anything because what we're looking for is text. So what we're going to do is select right here all files or you can select text. Either way it shows up all files are text and global swimsuits. What they want you to do before you open it is right click and say open with. We're going to open it with notepad this is what it looks like okay doesn't look good but we can see it's actually comma separated values so close that and now we're going to go ahead and open global swimsuit csv and notice it looks like this so 
using the comma separated values, it made the proper number of columns. Next, now it says increase the width of column A to display the full text in every row. So let's go just to cells format and then auto fit column width. And there we go. So now save as an Excel workbook. So file, save as. Make sure we save it as an Excel workbook. Are we changing the file name? No, but we do need to make sure we save it in the My Projects folder. So it is a workbook. Click Save. And now. CSV is an actual Excel workbook. All right, submit it and get it. There we go. Feeling better about this, getting some 100% again.